Hey everyone, if you're like me, you've recently been on the market for a DSLR camera to use in recording or streaming on your computer. However, many Canon cameras don't actually allow you to record for more than 30 minutes without the live view feed turning off. There is a workaround on some models, and that is what we're going to be talking about today. Now I am going to be using the Canon Rebel SL3 in my tutorial. However, there is a list provided here of cameras that will work with this function. There is another workaround for cameras not on this list. However, it requires a little bit more coding than the method that we are going to be using today. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Canon Developer Community website. For the US, it is Developer Community .usa.canon.com. Once on this page, click on register at the top right to register an account. It'll ask for your country of residence, in my case, the United States of America, and then we'll ask for a bunch of different information. On the next screen, it will ask you for additional information, such as what coding language you will primarily be using. You can put any information here that you would like, and it will still allow you to create an account. Once you have created an account, go ahead and log in. On the US website, main page, you are going to want to click on Introduction to the New Camera Control API. From here, you are going to click on the link for the SDK API downloads. Once there, click on Camera Control API and download the activation tool for either Windows or Mac. It could be useful to also download the Getting Started and Reference Guide, however I will not be doing that here. Once it is downloaded, go to the download location and extract all files. At this point, connect your Canon camera to the computer using a USB cable and open the CC API activation tool. Simply click on Execute Activation and it will download onto your camera all the tools necessary. Once it is finished installing onto the camera, go to your Wi-Fi settings and scroll down to Camera Control API. Here you can add a new connection with the wizard or manually using either an access point or a Wi-Fi. In our case, we are using an access point that has already been set up. To connect the computer to the camera, simply open up the access point. And on your computer, connect to the access point. Once connection has been established, if you are using Google Chrome, download Advanced REST Client. However, any REST client will work. Meanwhile, on the camera, you will see this screen. Simply type this information into the request URL with the method git and send to the camera. This should be the screen you land on, and everything is set up. You may use your camera as normally from this point on. Lastly, you are going to want to send a post request to the live view. On the Canon SL3, it is currently under CC API slash version 100 slash suiting slash live view. However, it can be found by simply searching for the live view function. You will also need to include a content type application slash JSON with a body that looks like this. Once you send this to the camera, your camera will turn on and will not turn off until an off signal is sent. Well, there you have it. Simple as that. It took me a long time to figure it out, so I wanted to make sure that there was somewhere that someone can turn to find out more information on how to use their Canon camera, like the SL3, for streaming and recording. 
Now, honestly, I can't show you that this will stay on for more than 30 minutes on a video as short as this. So please feel free to drop by my Twitch channel and see that I actually use this camera in gaming and music creation for more than 30 minutes at a time. And if you like this video, please let me know. Comment down below with any suggestions or questions that you have. I'll be glad to answer as much as I can. And I'll be trying to get out a video on the other method for other cameras in the future. Now, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Post editing Alex here to say thank you again for watching the video. If you like the music that you're listening to right now, please feel free to visit my other channel, which has this song as well as all the other songs that I've created and released so far. Link is down in the description along with my Twitch channel. Thanks again. Bye bye.